Hello and welcome to uh, chapter 11 of Valhalla. This is the 11th day and we now have somehow seven people. So if you're new, if you'd like to introduce yourself, please feel free. Nah. Ah. Hi, I'm Shibbo. I'm already drunk. Fuck everyone. Hi, I'm Pavlov. You probably already know me. Shut up, and fucking weed. <laughs> um, I'm Ms. Chris. <laughs> Somehow, I'm still here. Um, actually, shit, this is an intervention, so... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this really is. Shib, put down the 40s! <laughs> um, Kovok, you haven't said anything yet. No, yeah, I'm Kovok, and... I'm... not interesting. Okay. Right. Cool story. Um, Great. Now, if you remember yeah. from the from the end of last one, we um, just spent the night with Dorothy in case anyone needed reminding of that. Because um, best yeah, boss yeah. is really that, worst boss. That's that's the context. I'm, I'm really surprised they didn't have that be part of the game. I well, had... don't, if if you're if you're worried that they you know left things out, don't worry. That that will that'll that'll come up later. I uh, okay. I so much better now. So did you really for... think it wouldn't? I was hoping it wouldn't. I I really didn't think it would. But so really? just to just to yeah. clear the air for everyone. No, I mean for everyone watching. I mean I was convinced it was going to show us. Oh, I was convinced it wouldn't. I thought for sure it wouldn't go this far. But to clear the air for everyone watching. Oh um, God. I've never seen any of these episodes because I've been blackout drunk every time and I can't bring myself to watch a video. So if you've watched today eleven, like I gotta give you mad props. <laughs> uh, and by the way, yes, Lilima are apparently soft and warm. Oh no! Yeah, I was, uh, that's what I was going. Oh god, about. See, see, told you. Did you really think, think this wouldn't be explored wow. in detail? I was. I, I hate was... this fucking game so much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, and apparently Dorothy is also a, a cheap Lilim. In this in this case, I think she made a special exception for you. Oh, good. When... <laughs> An employee discount. You get me drunk, I'll pay you. Oh my God, she's me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I lower my rate. <laughs> one dollar for get me drunk. Yay! It's one dollar for every year old she is. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, she's in her 20s, or uh, technically she's immortal as well, so... Infinite money. Oh, there. there's more dogs. Oh my god, more doggies! Hi, Patch Dog. And, um, so, yeah, this is the, um... I'm not quite sure what it's wearing, or if it's, like... Because the Brad Sheep is wearing his Hawaiian shirt. I'm not even sure the other one's wearing anything except his monocle. Oh, it looks like he's wearing a coat! No, he's wearing, oh, like, patch. a little sweater. I thought, he's, I thought he was supposed to be, like, a... Like a big boss thing. Oh my god, his name is Nacho. Maybe? Is that is that not like but the eye patch? But it's, it's oh a, yeah. But you can see the eye through it. That's why I assumed it was a monocle. Oh, I. What, his I don't name know. is Nacho. Soldier well, though. Come on. Wow. I... Do you really think this series is above referencing Metal Gear? Oh no, it, it quite clearly has. Oh, several times. it's Google Glass. That's what it is. He's wearing Google Glass. So we're just gonna ignore the fact his name is Nacho. No, no, no I it's say definitely his name is we Nacho, can take that's the any best dog. Part of this so it's, far. it's see, look at the it's literally Big Boss. Wait, it's it's heaven. Heaven. Nerf, come on. Can someone uh, explain Nacho then? I don't get. What uh, it's is. Nacho I don't, dog. I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> if we get like, if it's we get like an outer kennel or something, huh. I'm gonna lose my shit. Well, it would be an eye patch because. Yeah, so it just said it was an eye patch, but I, was, I still don't think it looks like that because you can see his eyeball through it. So I don't really get it. Glass no, I eye. think that's a little light thing on the uh, solid eye from Metal Gear Solid 4, I want to say. Thank you! You hmm. see it? You're my new favorite part of this LP. <laughs> you say that as if you like this I've LP, Shib. Betrayal. I no, I love this LP. I'm held at gunpoint. Help! <laughs> Are you being kidnapped by fairies again? You know it. Shit, but what do you mean you're held at gunpoint? You're the one who coerced me to, for me to be here. Well, it's Shut yeah. Up. I'm I'm pointing a gun at you. The NSA is pointing a gun at me. It's just really a gun fest. 
Right. So, so that... really, oh. I'm the way to mirror. No one cares about you. So what's this? Okay, so <laughs> it, they kind of assumed before that they were about like dog rights and like equal opportunity for dogs and things like that. Except now they're just talking about how they like every dog is entitled to their own ball to play with. Um, so wait, so that... in the in the in the libertarian like technopunk future, there's socialism, but only for dogs. Well, no, there's no no socialism for anyone, unless you know. Unless it's ball related? This this know. music is so unfitting for discussion about shipping boxes of boxes. <laughs> it's incredible. Boxes of balls. I actually really like this one. This track's really good. It's boxes all the way down. It's completely un <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's completely unsuited for what's going on right now, but it's a good track. Oh boxes. I <laughs> know, uh, this is the best. on the um if you look up at the news, you can see there's a, obviously some conversation about Alice Rabbit and who they are. That's yeah, like Glass's yeah. wife who was Alice Rabbit, right? Sorry, which one? Glasses. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the Hang blonde on, which... one, I think. Does she Isn't have that... glasses? I think she has I thought glasses. it was just like kind of like eyes. You mean hacker waifu, right? Like, you know, like when you have like a pixel maybe they're, picture maybe they're and you just eyes. like are kind of lazy and so you just have a little square for the eye? Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. That could be it. I'm pretty sure she comes back in, in this episode. So, let me find out. Lily Porter? Okay, first off, how tall is she in comparison to dogs? Secondly, I just noticed their tongues moving when they talk. Thirdly, this is literally my favorite conversation of the game so far, because it's two dogs being dumbasses interspersed with fucking, like, inner monologue. <laughs> it's not even creepy. It's great. I still think the dogs yeah, are, like, the decent. only good part. Like, please don't have any... Don't, please, sure I really don't want the dogs to, like, have something stupid happen and completely ruin them. Because I need some sort of hope. As far as as far as I've played through, they are coming through okay. finally. But we'll so see. there won't be any plot point where he has to kill Big Boss and then you know he died that day and all that stuff. <laughs> he turns into naked Shiba. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he takes off his glasses. And... No, no, no. And then there's like another one where he's like mostly a robot and has samurai swords. Yes. Was yeah, it was. Well, it wasn't a Metal Gear Solid well, reference. It was a Metal Gear Rising Kind of reference. same universe. Shut up. I swear they want to take revenge on someone after this. Okay, revenge. Well, probably not. She doesn't before. look familiar. Yes. Yeah. She has a really okay. big uh, forehead. It's, it's, it's not actually a word, is it? What is not a word? Well, Revengeance. Revengeance? No, it's not actually a word. It's a merger of revengeance and vengeance. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. I mean revenge and a vengeance. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, so you may not remember these guys because I think they've only been in one episode and it's pretty late in the recording session. But these guys work for the um, the company of dogs. Not not the same guys who were just... Oh, is she the fashion the designer lady? Sentient dogs. Um, maybe? Fashion designer. I feel like we've bumped we've bumped into her before. Even drunk yeah. out like black blackout drunk ship knows yeah. what's going on here with this. Yeah, it's it's her and the um and the, the Lilim friend who I assume is yeah he he's close by but not actually in the conversation uh. right now. Oh yeah, Deal who's playing with the dog. That's right. Yeah. And again, they like those. She shit. seems to be describing another fetish waifu. Have we met this one yet? Um, she's come on once before. Uh, but oh, she was with her friend. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Right. No, I think she's just like railing against SJWs or whatever now. As the these guys would probably put it. Oh, okay. Please. It's good. I don't know. Something about being overly political correct. I kind of blacked yeah. out there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so the, the person they're talking about um, is yeah. He, very careful of where everything she says. But it is kind of explored a little bit. It's coming back to me. I recorded okay. this yesterday. Were you drunk it's, while recording you this? You already because wiped it sense. from your mind and now you're subjecting <laughs> it to yourself again? I was pretty... I, I had just come off work at, ah. and finished at midnight, so... I was pretty tired, but, you know, it's alright. Oh, the God. the first thing you do when you get Okay, so work. never mind the intervention yeah, for shit. I think this is an intervention for Zen. 
Yeah, Zen, we're your friends. We're here to get you the help. I anytime I feel like. <laughs> oh, speaking of LPing, I see you're doing another LP and you didn't invite it's me. It's not about anime waifus, like, probably. Up with that? Do you want to write subtitles? It doesn't have any voice. It's a subtitle I LP. I don't care. Bring me so back. You could just like have, you could just have Shibo in it as well and just use subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> and then, that would be no, 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 just worst. type in random shit, pretend that's Shib, no, no, and then like just stop, and then just like have a text, Shibo died on the way back to his home planet. But would Shibo be commenting to the subtitles? Yeah, or would the subtitles be over Shibo? Can I, can I voice, just be, like, uh, co-commentate with Shibo. the subtitles, Zen? And, like, and every, dialogue every time going? there's no commentary by Shibotech, every other commentator should be <laughs> saying, where's Shibotech? Yes! Perfect! I'm sorry, I'm trying so hard to actually yeah, give a shit. Yeah, I have no idea don't. what's going on, because like, this, this is I'm... just This is the worst. <laughs> oh, okay. They're, they're talking about work, work stuff, and I'll be honest, I have a, I know, like, everyone's had a, had a few of it at this point, but it's, um, I, I actually kind of, if the game was more of this kind of thing, I think it would be better, because it's more just stuff, the kind of things which you would actually come across it's... with a bartender. It's slice of life. You don't come across people going, it's wrong to fuck puppies, or hey, you know, right. for an hour. <laughs> I mean, and... You come across people you know, going, is... you come across people going, wow, my coworker's kind of cool, and I should totally hook up my friend with them. Like, I accidentally got a date with a waitress. I'm not even kidding, this is actually a ship story here, while they bitch about love changing people. I have a date with a waitress tomorrow. I accidentally picked someone up. See, and I can't even drunk. get a date sober. Fuck you, Shib. I don't remember <laughs> her. Yeah, I was about to say yes! I I'm like gay and I pulled it off! Ship. I'm so smooth that I picked up a chick! Well hammered! <laughs> wait, You're wait. Going. So, you, so gay not bi, so... Alright. Yes, no, I'm I'm <laughs> full on gay and apparently, my, according to my dad, because I was out with my dad, I got blackout drunk at a restaurant, hit mercilessly on a waitress, got her number, <laughs> forgot about it, we went back to the same restaurant two weeks later, I got a note from her. She didn't serve us. Oh, server brought over. was like, this is from Becky. And handed it to me and said, sorry, my phone broke. Oh my Would you like God. to do dinner Friday? Here's my number in case you <laughs> lost it. So I texted her tonight. It's a warning sign. I texted her tonight. I'm like, hey, it's I've got... Drunk. No, I was like, uh, so what's... what? You know, dinner <laughs> where and when? And now we have a dinner date tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm gay. And now I'm confused. And I don't know what's going on. <laughs> So good job, Bloom Light. Say, awesome. That's a great drink. Does anyone? This they actually explain this reference, but I'm just because I didn't know about it. Does anyone know what that's a reference to? Is anyone familiar with what? the term? I am yeah. not. No. What is what is a Bloom Light? Oh, the uh, talking about graphics. Light dots. Oh, and you know what the best part is? I'm so glad this God, isn't like a camera really? one because I'm like, oh, the light dots, and I'm like pretending to grab at the little dots. Ah. Uh... <laughs> We call this would happen. Now, this to be sound, fair, this is gonna sound weird if you're listening to this because we all. <laughs> yeah, this is why I record separately. Because... Yeah. <laughs> you cut oh, yeah, back you, out. You, you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, you your recording device would pick it up just fine. So yeah. yeah. Right now so... I'm just talking over you. But so. Uh, I mean, like, but even that's kind of cool. It's like, okay, yeah, it's a groan-worthy pun or whatever, but this is not... This is okay. This is fine. That's a good, um, good episode title there, too, actually. Tired of this crap and everything it, in gonna, the world cynic, throws cynical, at you or yeah, There you go. <laughs> yeah. But enough about me. Know, what about the like... game? Uh, she's talking about how activism is all for show. No, I know. Totally is. Fuck that MLK so guy. Why did they actually make dogs sentient again? Was there a well, reason for this? It, I don't know why or how it happened. Maybe they just evolved that way. It's probably a transhumanistic thing. Uplifting uh, unsapient species to sapiens is a trope in transhumanistic literature. Mm. So for, uh, and cyberpunk oh, okay. is adjacent. I mean, I knew a transhumanist guy once, but he just worked on little nano machines for diabetes because he had diabetes and he fucking okay, hated having Gasoli diabetes. Okay, Metal kind of ruined the I mean, word nano machines for me. More times in one <laughs> sentence. So. Okay. I'll assume whatever Chris said was really interesting there. 
Uh, yeah. Nah, not in the slightest. <laughs> I'm sure the re- I'm sure the listeners enjoyed it. Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm just here for the audience. Sorry. I so there there's transhumanist mystic literature. No, no, I didn't say transhumanistic. No, transhumanism. I must have misspoke. No, just transhumanistic literature. Oh. It just means putting brains in robot bodies, really. We're just ascending oh, yeah. past the limits of human, oh, okay. uh, the human form. That's just transhumanism. Hmm. And like yeah, making very... animals. So smart pretty much is brain like in a jar. Yeah, that's actually a, a key point in the other LP I'm doing. Kind of. Yeah. Although usually sort it's about of. enhancing, but it usually it explores the idea that. You know, the more you enhance yourself, the less human you become. So would Again, um, the Deus Ex games the, pretty much get see, is, into transhumanism? This then? is corporatist future. Oh yeah. So sort of. Uh, the way I once heard it was actually transhumanism is very idealistic, while cyberpunk's more dystopian. Like I heard they're like okay. opposing in their. So transhumanism. Things. That's how I. So kind it. of. Well, a lot of a lot of cyberpunk is trans. Oh hi, she's back. Oh, yeah, she does have glasses. Oh, yeah, she she does. does have glasses. You're okay. right. Uh, hang on. All right, so yeah, this is this is super creepy. Oh yeah, really? I actually oh, got this. Okay. I'm actually pretty sure I got this one. Right, I don't even remember what she said. Um, because she doesn't really tell you what she wanted. But oh. I. She didn't. I don't think she said much at all. Um, but she doesn't give you any big clues. She just kind of looks bad. But then she okay. tells you. No, no, no. Dorothy is part of this story. game. I don't think it can get Please creepier no. than is that. Is it a story? No. <laughs> it's uh, different. Well, we're it's, gonna see. It's that's different. The challenge it's, the game will take up with you. It's different, creepy. What do you mean, different, creepy? It's well, it's not creepy for the. Well, it, it's kind of the uh -oh. same. But here we go. Oh no, I don't like oh, this. Oh god. No. Oh no. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. okay. Get, out. Get out of the LB right now. Oh. Oh my god, really? You know what the sad thing oh. is. Oh. Here's the really sad thing. All I can see, and I'm like, you know what? At least wow. she's over, she's over in her twenties. Like, <laughs> so it's dark. What? <laughs> Technically, that doesn't make it better. No, your that dad's a creepo. So fast. Your yeah. dad does not sound like a yeah, cool guy. What the job, fuck? <laughs> So, I, I remember just Chibo yeah. being like, hey, this game is cool right now, and when this happened. Yeah, oh, no, just, it's... What, mm. 10 minutes? It's, yeah, well, it's the minutes. same It's the same as the first episode. Hey, it's Donovan's such a kind roller of coaster funny. Oh, shit, between funny. okay what and is... shit. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, no, actually, hang on, I have a legitimate theory here. I think this game is a modern incarnation of the Necronomicon, and uh, by staring into it drunk, we've avoided the mind-raping effects of what is only known to the Elder Ones, that which is incomprehensible to the mortal mind. It's called, this is a shit game, well, nothing, drunk, but like, done. philosophical I about think that. This is just... I was getting philosophical. This, is right. Right. this game is. Oh, sorry. Well, my, my fear on this game is that it's a test, and anyone who completes this no, game. Anyone who bought this, this game for money has failed. Zen, you have failed. No, Zen <laughs> might be the soul. <laughs> Zen, we love you. We want you to be okay. <laughs> but... No, see, Zen, Zen uh, passes because Zen decided to do this solely because, holy shit, I spent money on this, was his motivation. Right? There's a difference. He's trying to. He's trying to keep. He's trying to keep people's wallets intact. He's fine. It's an, edu it's an educational LP. Exactly. It's yeah, the like people. The it's the people who true. not only purchased this for fifteen dollars, but said it's a ten out of ten game. Oh, okay. speaking, oh Alma, speaking, yeah. No. Just quickly yeah, on, the, on the topic of uh, spending money on this game. Um, okay. Recently, I believe PAX 2016 was on one of the uh, yeah. video game um, right. conventions. And oh, yeah. uh, there was a poll held by the, I think it's the publisher, not the developer. Oh, as, yeah. As to this. what kind of um, what kind of merchandise people would like to buy, because they actually had a red Shiba shirt. Well, I know what to get. Shiba Please tell Christmas. me it's body pillows. Please tell me body pillows. Which, one. Uh, 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 yeah. which um. <laughs> I was um, kidding. Are you fucking serious right now? No, then? That's, that's not Go. a body pillow. It's pretty bad. Oh, damn. And, um, not, it's not a body pillow. They, so they they released these um red Shiba shirts, which actually you know. They're not too bad. I mean, of all the games to do, that's probably 
one of the best things they could have done. But they had a poll on Twitter as to what they should have as uh, basically what people would be interested in. Anyone want to take it? What character oh, the, I um, the top one was related it's to? Is it this guy? Yeah, I, I yeah, saw so this. It's not even a guess. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, I saw. I'm. What? What uh, is this? Uh, she's she's really pissed off at her sister because her it was actually a new a picture other than just her right sitting there, there and talking. Cindy, so that Cindy. was that was actually okay. She okay. Her dad. Oh, just her bitching about her sister. Yes. But so Zen, Zen, what was what was the actual item relating to Dorothy? Uh, uh, Dorothy. Oh, yeah. Um, plush doll. Of course. Yeah, it was plush. Of course. That's hope is life sized. Yeah, that's... remember when I said. <laughs> We're remember no, I we... said don't go to that Twitter. That's why. <laughs> oh right, I'll shut up. I, I, I oh, we're talking about a breast now. You know, we we bitch about. Is that Dorothy why you link lot, it to me but, uh... thirty times a day? Yes. Jeez. <laughs> I I don't yeah, know. In, in case apparently um, her brother in case you also haven't <laughs> picked up on now. She has large breasts. She just thought yeah. she Wait, mentioned what was that again. about? Mm -hmm. Now she's... Now she's talking about menopause and genetics? What the shit is this her game? She's talking about her mom. <laughs> I'm a little confused here. You know what? Never mind. No, but that's the thing. She wasn't really talking about her mom. She's like, oh, but like everyone in my family looks like shit after menopause hits or whatever. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, See? It's a very specific conversation topic to end up in. Yeah, like don't... Don't yes. get me wrong. I I drink hard. I've had a I've had a couple of drunken hard hearts well, with the bartenders. Okay, no, 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 I've never once asked You probably about have because history. apparently you picked you up a chick while well, blacked out drunk. A woman. You're cutting out so hard right now, and We're it's so have to great. Put me yeah, in, like, no I don't know what Miss Chris said, but I agree wholeheartedly. It's I usually just get. Utterly hammered and then oh, ask people to like God. write me. Porn. Okay, so is Shibo a character do, in this great. game? What? Whoa. What? <laughs> what? That's a ship story oh, for yeah. another. So you do LP. sound like someone. That's a ship story so for Shibo, another. Shibo, you are someone who show at the, at this bar. You you would show up in Valhalla, wouldn't you? Uh, potentially, actually. <laughs> I can neither. He has alcohol. <laughs> He'd be there. I, no, no, no. Okay, so like, I'm, yeah, it's true. Uh, Donovan, it's Donovan, Donovan, Donovan now I'm like, keep thinking like Shivers at this bar, and he's like, "Hey, do you know why they call me a chauvinistic horse blower?" <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! You cut off. Why do they call me what? <laughs> you cut off. Do you have like a program I wish. that finds the imperative word of the sentence and just cuts off right before it happens? <laughs> yeah, it, fe it feels like she, she has some sort of Okay, so I swear <laughs> I'm like funny, but it looks like everything. Oh yeah, now this is um, this is a weird little bit of um, this uh, <laughs> sorry. So who would have thought that in a seven-person LP, people would be constantly talking over each other? Anyway, this is a very subtle conversation <laughs> about. God damn it! I chicken. knew it was gonna happen. We're talking about tits or ass. What is this game? Like the women talks about tits or mm. ass because you know itchiness and feminism. Shit. Who knows? The wings. Uh, Remember that this game yeah, got nine out of ten. Ten out of ten, in some places. Oh yeah, ten out also, of ten. Also, just just quickly as well, there was a small article the other day about how fried chicken is like some kind oh, of right. like really rare delicacy. But uh, hmm? yeah, it was in one of the news articles, nope. and and the the mayor was talking, basically gloating about how they, you know, uh, how they they don't feel bad about eating lots of it when most people can't get any. But apparently, like your bosses, where in the world is this? With, Sorry? Like... Nanomachines? No, no, no. The article... Out of chickens? Art, no, article in-game. Oh, in game. In game. Nanomachines. Yeah, not... So... No, but I mean, I mean even there, in-game. How would they run out of chickens? Who cares? Either way. But yeah, so now... So, yeah, so... Chickens' status are unsure. That's like hmm. a weird thing But then thing again, apparently chicken, of... apparently chicken oh. is like the Christmas food or something, instead of turkey. Chickens oh, yeah, are the whales of, of the future. So, 
in two days' time. That's actually a Japanese thing. In, yeah, I was going to uh, say Japan, that's a Japanese. Oh, yeah. um, in Japan, I think they, it was like have, a really uh, everyone eats a Kentucky um, Fried heavy Chicken marketing for Christmas. I don't know why back in like the they 70s or something. That's, I remember it's a marketing reading thing, it, but Kentucky it's been a while. Chicken. It was like, oh, uh, or like chicken was kind of rare already in Japan or something. I don't know. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> God damn it! I hate everyone. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I was recently in Malaysia, and they have, um, curry KFC, and it's actually amazing. So That actually sounds pretty ooh. great. Yeah, it's... Huh. Huh. The, um, but yeah, if, if you do go to Malaysia, try all the proper Malaysian food, but if you do have some that spare time, sounds probably try the, um, Malaysian curry KFC. KFC. Well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I know I'm in this other nation with a rich cultural history. Like I said, but eat I... all the other proper food first. Like, get your proper satay and your curry laksa and all those things like that. But then, right, yeah. Well, look at, if look at, at some you. Point you find yourself with a KFC, try that one. Look at you, Mr. Cultured, and I've been outside the country. Why are we talking okay. about... No, please. Oh, uh, so now you're you're hitting on Alma. Okay. We're hitting on no, everyone. Really. Yeah. No, I think we're hitting on our boss. Yeah, but there's. She's not the only redhead, though. The boss is hitting on you. No, I think Alma's saying that she can tell you're into your boss. I think that's what's happening. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, yep. no, 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 no. Here you go. Do you like blondes? God. Oh, yep. Okay, that's mm, good. Thanks, Alma. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna mute my mic while. Um, Chuck the problem is that Shibo it has forties. Hey, no escaping from the LP, Shibo. You have to stay through all of it. I bought. Oh, well, that's because I, you I bought four forties. The cashier gave me this look of utter judgment that was incredible. Uh, watch, careful, careful. <laughs> Looking. Watch, watch. Oh. No, no, watch. What? This oh boy. Is hmm. This is very important. Oh shit! We're Jill. Oh. What? what? Oh, they swap oh. places. No, no, hang on. Watch, watch oh. closely. Oh, what could shit. it mean? I wonder. Oh, I thought she I was hacked. having a seizure. She hacked. Did you notice what was in the middle of the screen? Yes, a yeah, so. Oh, so I was right! I, I said was she was right, wasn't I'd, I? Like to, I'd like to take this opportunity to quote Pavlov from the first episode. <laughs> she's a hacker. It's so sad that, that, that uh, Pavlov right. got it right. God <laughs> damn it, Pavlov! <laughs> it's not a shock. I said that uh, earlier this episode. She's... Yeah. I think it's because Pavlov I think a moment watches to way too much anime. No. Take a moment to gloat. Alright, no, so this game has been praised for having such- Everyone. Everyone simmer. It's not that impressive. Pavlov is the resident band anime expert. All this proves is that this game plays so perfectly into the tropes that it is completely undeserving of the perfect scores that it gets because it's predictable! Well, let's be honest though, I doubt anyone who reviewed this game- Yeah, it's really depressing because, like, this game <laughs> showed up in my, uh, Which is not really queue, serious, but still. Uh, during the summer sale, you know, no, it's I like- I was like, oh, it looks interesting, it's like, oh, you're a bartender, and it's like, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great! It's like that, like, other, like, cooks serve delicious or whatever- no. No, so wrong. So here's the thing I'm just going to say real quick. You're saying, oh, it's so predictable. That means it's not worth the nines and all that stuff. The people who played this and like it, they love it because of the tropes, I bet. They love how predictable mm -hmm. an anime it is. Cause this yeah, that's like the thing. Like, I would expect um, when I was 15 and a weeb. Like, I don't think 15-year-old uh, me would actually like this game. Because I, well, I still <laughs> okay. think it was I'm boring so as fuck. But, like, the tropes are still there. Why does this- this entire thing just feels like it's Alma going, Oh look, I have tits, I can't be super hacker. And then almost like a really shoehorned in exposition as to Jill's character, instead of her kind of giving it voluntarily as the bartender. Like, I'm normally a fan of- like, I'm normally this a fan of sudden role feel reversal, organic. don't get me wrong, but this doesn't feel organic in the slightest. It feels- That's the title. Yeah. 
It just makes me weep for the future of game. storytelling. I, well, I hate the fact that games like this make money. I legitimately do. Yeah. Well, this is the uh, thing. It's like, like this uh, yeah, pandering is exactly why uh, Twilight and Fifty game. Shades of Grey, like that. See, no, that was angry that this game popular. makes money. Like. See, I'm I'm not as I'm not as angry that stuff like this makes money. Uh. I'm angry when people try to hold it up as like the standard for video game writing because they do. There are plenty of reviewers who seem to want to do that. Yeah, I I that... should I should I should rephrase. I don't mean that I feel like all the work that went into this should go to waste because legitimately the music and a lot of the art assets are actually really good. The writing yeah. is garbage, and when you're a visual novel, the visual component can only count for so much when you count it balancing against the novel. And the novel part does not hold up. Um, you know, I'm look. I a part of me is glad for my fellow man to have found success. A part of me is super depressed that this is being held as the pinnacle that all indie games should aspire to because they could do so much better. And also, while have... um, she's she's talking about a dead ex-girlfriend. We are we are Probably giving we... right. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I think she's just kind of venting. Well, well her dead fine, girlfriend died of uh, like, that's anime thing. sickness. Like, yeah. this is kind of. She died of a broken heart. Yeah, that is yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I I think I was telling Shep this just in Skype. Uh, or I'm like, oh, well, why are you recording this? I'm I like, mean, there are a few I don't moments. The there are a few moments when I, the writing is okay. Like, I would actually look. I'm sorry. For the um. Can yeah, you? When... which I was curious about with this scene is whether you can get yourself drunk. <laughs> I was wondering that too. I, I mean, you, you just sank away a big beer, which I think has eight units. Of, it has a lot of um, karma. Trying, yeah. And but she's I'm, just I'm like, sure. she has liver implants. What? Yeah, that's that's actually really interesting. Which is um, I, I I mean yeah. So it's apparently the the bartenders for the the chain have some kind of liver implant. Presumably, that means they break down alcohol really quickly, okay. so they can they can actually that like, drink actually out would work, be neat. Or, you know, they can drink with their customers and not get drunk themselves or something, which yeah, is actually quite interesting. Is that like a free perk? But it's yeah. it's not really a perk though, because it would just mean you're drunk. I understood for the time. reference, right, and I'm like, not going yeah. to answer you. I'm not giving you the satisfaction of getting that reference. No, that was the that was the terms oh, of employment. She she sh she you're showed. Terrible. <laughs> She showed up. She showed up to get her offer so letter, and they the just fucking of knocked a her out, put her in a tub full of ice, and implanted this shit in her liver against her will. And she's like, "You're hired." Yeah. <laughs> she woke up. She, <laughs> she, she woke well, up, actually... and the sutures spell out, "You're hired." <laughs> well, it's also kind of interesting when you think about the um, Gil's character because, like, he's not who he's supposed to be on paper. He's impersonating someone else. So, like, does he have this implant? If he doesn't, if, or if he does, I have don't know. I mean, um, do they, I mean, even like, nowadays, it's, it, it kind of feels like liver transplant, kidney. like liver and kidney transplants, seem. Almost you know, it just make more sense if, if the main character had volunteered to get times. the implant. They could cut all the bullshit. So should she have like two or three livers in there, or yeah, is it all nanomachines? It's not, it's not a transplant; it's an implant. Ah, it's cybernetics. Yeah. Okay. No, she's. It's 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 no. augmented. Yeah, so it's yeah. like an extra yeah. bit on your liver, which gets rid of alcohol or something. She spent praxis points on getting the uh, the <laughs> liver divided, <laughs> and uh... can she shoot tastes out of her liver? Yeah, it's yeah. A... My liver can hack things. Her eyebrows? <laughs> I just, I just, I'm sorry. I can't. So is this scene? I. I think I'm starting to realize what this scene is. It's the it's the authors realizing that the whole perspective thing that they're doing from Jill means it's impossible oh. to actually get any fucking emotion out of her. I hate so to, they had to switch. What? I hate to do spoilers. I hate to do spoilers oh for boy. what's probably going to be a week later in the thread. But 
there's some severe realizations in the Christmas episode I, that you'll see. I I'm sorry. Like I legitimately episode? I legitimately thought you were gonna turn this into like her contemplating her own mortality was gonna be <laughs> the fucking magic this day going. Jesus Christ, what if we die tomorrow and this is our contribution to humanity <laughs> into this game? <laughs> God. When the That's chips, like the worst thing. When the thing. chips you know, are down, call the actually prostitute really made me pissed bot. off. Like, I was, like, thinking about this. Like, boss could have sent anyone else. Like, she could have sent the fucking dog to keep Joe company. Actually, that, w that would have been amazing. Now, now. Well, the dog would have been on. great. Now, now. I am going to punch you through this fucking screen. This. Ingram taught us. <laughs> at least. But, but it's, it's, at least you Chibo, shouldn't. Hold on. No. Ca counter arguments to that, Chibo. It's not an actual copy. Wow. It's a full grown dog. Titty hacker. Well, no, I'm no, no, that, cute. That makes no, no, a puppy. No, no. That's day. the new. Cherish titty hacker. She's a good friend. Cherish. Please. Ch Cherish titty hacker. Can I? Titty hacker. Cherish titty hacker. Cherish titty hacker. Mods, change my name to Cherish Titty Hacker. <laughs>